Hallo bei Musikmachen.de, der Nikola hier von der NAMM Show 2014. Wir sind bei MOOC und hier gibt es einen neuen Synthesizer zu sehen, den Sub 37. Amos ist bei uns, er wird uns ein bisschen was dazu erzählen. Amos, hallo. Hallo. Hi. I would like to show you the Sub 37 and some of the new features that we have included here. This instrument is based upon last year's very successful Sub Fatty, but we have responded to user feedback and our own desire to increase and enhance this instrument, and this has brought us the Sub 37. This is 37 keys which have aftertouch enabled, and on the larger control panel, we were able to include many additional and advanced features. For example, we have an arpeggiator directly directly upon the panel with multi-mode, many patterns available, up, down, in order, and random, and additionally, step sequencer and step record. This offers two modes of operation, one SH style, where one can play notes directly upon the keyboard, and these notes are recorded, and in step mode, the sequence will play, and additionally, will be available an XOX style sequencing mode using these 16 preset buttons upon the panel as step editing buttons. Additionally, their main function, of course, is as preset selection, and with an additional bank button, you have 16 banks of 16 presets, or 256 presets available directly from the panel. There are, in addition, two modulation buses with two independent LFOs which can be synchronized to MIDI clock or to the arpeggiator. Arpeggiator, of course, will also synchronize to MIDI. You have high and low range for wide-ranging audio modulation, multiple LFO waveform shapes, and additional programmable modulation sources. So you have truly rich and powerful modulation abilities here. You can simultaneously control the pitch of oscillators 1 and 2 individually or together, the filter, of course, and also an additional programmable modulation destination, which uh, encompasses many options including amplitude modulation, LFO rate, oscillator waveform for pulse width modulation, noise level for flute and percussive sounds, and the envelope time, which is very good for acoustic instrument replication. Additionally, another long list of programmable destinations will be available, easily edited from the convenient LCD programming interface on the left side of the panel. Moving along to the oscillator section, we have the standard offerings of two voltage-controlled analog oscillators with continuously variable waveform, hard sync on oscillator 2, and a keyboard reset, which we have introduced in recent years. This allows the otherwise free-running analog oscillators to be re-triggered their phase at zero with each new note, which provides consistent punch and power, very good for modern electronic music production. Another new feature in the oscillator section is the duo mode. And duo mode is uh, in reference to the label paraphonic analog synthesizer. This is, in addition to its normal duties as a monosynth, you are able to control the pitch of oscillators one and two independently from two keys on the keyboard. So you can choose whether oscillator two is tracking the high note or the low note, or in fact you can turn off keyboard control and oscillator two can drone independent of oscillator one. In the mixer section, we have added individual on-off controls for each sound source, similar to those found on the original Minimoog Model D. Another feature we have inherited from the Minimoog Model D is this feedback control, which is the old trick of taking the mixer output and routing it back to the filter input and allowing you to overdrive the entire signal chain before the filter. You can then, of course, then use the filter to shape the resulting sound, allowing you to get incredibly rich, saturated tones, which you can then sculpt precisely to your desire. This is in series with the new multi-drive circuit, which we introduced last year in the Sub Fatty. So the multi-drive is a FET transistor overdrive that is surrounding the filter in series with the feedback. This gives an incredible new range of rich, saturated tones. And in addition, you have the multi a multipole slope, a uh, configurable slope on the filter, 6, 12, 18, or 24 decibel per octave, available directly from the panel, giving you four different flavors of Moog filter sound. Finally, the envelope generator section has been fully enhanced. These extra features are available via lit push buttons on the panel. You have panel control of single or multi-triggering of your envelopes, 
reset, which is the attack phase resetting to zero at the start of each new note, or continuing from the previous envelope level. There is clock sync. You can synchronize the envelopes to your clock time, which is useful because they can loop and latch on as additional cyclical modulation sources. Both the filter and the volume envelope can latch on. Modulation. Ah, there we are. And uh, additionally, the latch on is a very useful in the ampli amplifier envelope because if you are processing external audio through the external audio input, you needn't hold down a key or press a pedal. You can simply press a button to turn on the gate and leave the signal path fully available with all modulations uh, flowing for your external audio. Finally, I should say that this instrument will ship with a computer editor in uh, all standard formats, both standalone and plug-in, audio unit and VST, so you will be able to work with this instrument in a digital studio in a manner very similar to you as you would with your virtual instruments, only with all of the power and uh, life that is inherent in real analog. So. The total package is all of the features that people have been requesting from our Moog synthesizers married into one integrated machine that represents uh, our latest and best thinking in terms of how to present these tools to the musician. So I think it will be a very great success for us already. The response has been very positive. Uh, you know, even our harshest critics online have been saying, yes, you, this is what I was waiting for. This is why I was giving you such a hard time in the past. It's because I wanted all of these things all at once. And so here we are very happy to deliver them. Thank you very much, Amos. Da bleiben ja wohl keine Fragen offen. Ihr kennt das Zeiträtsel und auswendig. Das war's von hier, aber wir gehen jetzt weiter zum nächsten Stand. Bis gleich.